well, it's 2024 and everybody is doing reels. Why shouldn't you, right? But you still haven't found the exact right way to create a product reel that looks good because you're missing Studio 3D's incredible 3D models that are ultra realistic and that can elevate your efforts. So let's try creating a reel for TikTok or whatever platform you might be using in Studio 3D together and see how that goes. After logging into Studio, you're immediately taken to the My Projects section. Now, you can choose to start a project from scratch or you can go through a template section to get some ideas based on what you need to create. For example, now we can go to TikTok and actually find a reel that is working for us perfectly almost. If you don't want to use this device, you can just pause and swap out the device for another phone. Let's say the new Apple phone. As you can see, it works perfectly for this phone as well. And you can just download it as a GIF and before whatever works for you. And there you go. Just like that, you already have a perfect reel with a new Apple phone. In order to create a reel from scratch, the first thing you have to do is start with a new animation project. After getting into the editor, first things first, give your project a descriptive name so that you can make it easier to find in the My Projects section later and easier to talk about if you're sharing projects with colleagues. To make this start looking a little more like an actual reel, let's change the dimensions. We highly recommend a 1080 by 1920 so that you can have a reel that works well with any platform. In terms of design, what you will choose to do is really a very personal matter. But let's see how you can change your device, the background, and how you can make a simple rotation for this reel. Now, first things first, click on the device. And by clicking on the device name under 3D model, the catalog will open up for you. If you already know which device you need, you can search by name right here or filter your search by manufacturer. Otherwise, over 5,000 of all the latest electronic devices are right at your feet to design a new reel with. But now let's start with the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. The first thing that you will need to do is determine your device's starting position. So let's make the device a little bigger and with the help of snapping lines, we can center it. Add keyframes to lock your starting position in. And let's take about two seconds or as many frames as you need because you can swap this out from right here to create a rotation, which is fairly simple. All you have to do is move the time indicator to the timing you need and add a number of rotations right here. Let's add one and click the keyframe to lock it in. So if you replay, we've already created a very simple rotation. You can also create a zooming in or out effect by adding another keyframe and making the device either smaller for a zooming out effect or bigger for a zooming in effect, but making sure again that it is centered. And just like that, we've created a zooming in effect. Now that you've created a basic motion, it's time to add design elements to this reel. Of course, anything you add has to be highly customizable in order to fit your branding needs. And this is exactly what you can do with Studio. In order to add a background, you can just click on the background of the reel and go to the settings right here to choose any color you need using the palette or the hex code or even a color picker. Just make sure that whatever color you choose, let's say this one, is set to opacity 1 so that it can be actually visible. Of course, if you have a specific branding need, 
You can add an image layer and use it as a background. You can also add different design elements like lighting or shadows as image layers and animate them. The same goes for text. So let's add a text layer. Let's, for example, say that I would like to have the phrase shop now pop up at the end of my animation, but not before. What I need to do is first thing, choose the font that I would like to have, either upload a custom font or choose one of the various fonts that you will find right here. Let's say this one. I'm going to make this much bigger and white so that it can pop up. Now, I'm going to add keyframes to when I want this to appear. So right around here is a good time. And then just by going a few seconds before when I don't want it to be here, I'm going to zoom out of my animation and make sure that it is out of my canvas and add a keyframe. The very first keyframes I don't need, so I'm going to delete them. Let's see what happens now. Pretty cool, right? You can do this for as many texts and as many image layers as you need to make your reel feel exactly right. Make sure to save your work and download it in the format that you need. If you're not exactly sure which format is the one you need, you can always take the advice of our very own designers by clicking on this link right here. That wasn't all that hard, right? So why don't you try it out yourself for your next reel or all your reels from now on? If you're looking for more ways that Studio 3D and our awesome 3D models can help out with your marketing campaigns, make sure to check out the rest of these videos. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email or with a short message on our LinkedIn, which you can make sure to follow, by the way. Until next time, stay creative.